If you guys are loving control decks and want to get easy and safe defensive wins, this is the best deck for you guys. This deck is absolutely unbreakable if you play perfect. Starting off today's mission versus Brian. Now let's see what Brian does. And honestly, currently playing ladder for me is like a big pain because I was like actually searching a half half an hour for an opponent and didn't find anyone. I just want to like, this is normally the great thing about Clash Royale, right? Sitting on the toilet and just playing a game, but this isn't possible. So he's just going to be really aggressive here with the graveyard. And I'm honestly just going to go for barbs late because the barbs are still counter pushing. So I think we got a really solid situation. Just going to go for an aggressive poison. That's a really aggressive poison. I could go in for the graveyard. I kind of want to be like careful. He's not going to go like for a troop there, nato to king. So I kind of want to not let him do that. Okay, I'm just going to chill there. So this is like a graveyard deck where you want to play really passive and wait for the opponent's mistake, right? Someone just like want to wait one big. Freeze, uh, freeze push and this is all what you need so i'm using my ice reset now in the back let's see he's just gonna give him good luck but of course we got great answers against him yes he got he got the f uh, the poison on defense against us but we got the bowler we got like a really tanky like a ton of tanky stuff and also we got the inferno dragon against his type of grave deck with ice reset baby doing one of the best cards in the entire game also soon i think you guys saw the crl world finals bracket 26 to 28 of november there will be the clash royale league world finals or like 24 to 26 i'm not always sure but it will be the clash royale league world finals held in helsinki and i play in the first round against same basoto we actually faced last time on also last year and i was like able to beat him there so i'm pretty confident but of course i still need to practice a lot but yeah thanks you so much for all everyone were rooting for me and i will try my best so really good um night there on his end but i still think the bowler gets some splash damage at least now and also the baby then connects to talk wait for baron bow on his end but overall i would say that's really good and of course i'm also preparing decks maybe um, for the world finals, for my opponents, which I didn't play before, not quite a lot, like Lava and Spark and so on, of course, it's just like examples. Um, but yeah, I will like prepare a ton of new deck uh, and stuff and so on, but of course, we'll improve also with the meta decks. But I will also be balance changes really soon. So I'm just gonna go for my baby doing here, kind of not allow him to go in for. Okay, I'm just gonna go also for Barbs. This is a bit of damage, but I think I still think overall it's okay. Look at the counter bush, right? So. I can just go in for the graveyard here. And now maybe I got the freeze opportunity. Barbs are still counter pushing. I see that will no, not survive. But I think I'm just gonna chill here. I'm just gonna go for the freeze now. I was waiting for that. He goes in for a barbarian barrel and offense. He doesn't have tornado with psycho. He's back I, I actually to, uh, for a tornado or two tornado. I'm just gonna go now for my baby doing there. And for my uh, inferno doing here. Now I'm just gonna go cycle my baby doing like this. This is the perfect placement against graveyard. But I think I can just go now for my Ice Wit. Honestly, I can just go Grave it now. Even if it's gonna block the bridge, it's still fine. Because if it goes in for Poison, that means we get like free Barbarian's value. And if he goes in for an Ice Wit, we can just freeze there. Also, great Inferno Dragon there for us because the Knight is ta uh, standing there. So he doesn't get the full of evolved volume. And we are winning the first game here against Brian. Honestly, a really good matchup. Next game up here versus Witch. And honestly, I just also love this deck in mid -ladder. I think this is a prime example, right? So our opponent won't be the best player in the world. I still want to show you guys this type of deck or like this type of gameplay because a ton of you guys are always asking, what's the best mid -ladder? Modern uh, mid -ladder deck. Modern, I'm not really high currently. What should I use i'm playing a ton of gs a ton of witches a ton of wizards and so on so what should i do and this deck is by far the best defensive deck in the entire game with a so so well in competitive play but also in mid ladder i have a ton of friends like we have friends which i'm like like kind of not really coaching but sometimes they're like asking me on whatsapp morton what should i play what is really good these are kind of the decks that uh, um, i'm facing and they're facing a ton of the uh, weird stuff with witches wizard and so on i'm just letting him play this type of deck if you have the card levels play this and the good thing is there are a ton of um possibilities to do uh, adjustments with the stack right in case you guys don't have the evil barbs you have the evil knight use the evil knight instead you can also use the ice uh, the ewis instead of the ice wizard you can also use like the golden knight if you want to instead of the barbarians um and just like a ton of stuff you can also use the valkyrie instead of the barbarians so there's like a ton of stuff you can kind of change this deck to make this deck great so i'm just gonna go now for my tornado here and this guy he's not the best player in the world but i kind of still want to show you how to play this deck in perfection also against this type of mid ladder plays uh deck so if you're looking for a deck, play this deck, guys. It's not like this deck is paying me or Supercell is paying me to show you guys this deck. Here, one dollar. <laughs> I personally also dislike Graveyard Freeze. I hate playing against it. I just feel like it's really frustrating. But there's a reason why it's so, so currently like one of the most popular decks in CL and will be also one of the most popular decks in World Finals. Um, besides, there will be any band change. We don't know yet. So I'm just going to go for my Freeze here. No, I'm just going to go for my Barbs here on top of the Witch. Like behind the G-Skelly. Now we also got a counter push, right? And this is kind of what we are like doing there. 
and just like the opposite lane pushes sometimes and we're still playing defensive right we know we're the better player but we're still playing defensive and we're always playing our troops in the back and kind of building up pushes and the great thing is we got like the graveyard push with the infoundering with the graveyard with the baby doing with the graveyard with the bowler so we've got a ton of chances like just like pressuring him so every time we play a troop uh, in the back it gets value one percent it gets value it doesn't matter what he really responds to that so i'm just gonna go now for my baby doing okay, i'm just gonna go for my ice wizard like this I hope the ice wizard stays there. Perfect ice wizard, really good. Honestly, I'm just gonna go for my barbs there. Behind this, and I just think the barbarians should do a great job there. So I'm just gonna go now for my bowler here. Building still stays alive. I'm just gonna like keep playing passive, right? I'm not gonna overcommit, I'm not gonna play too aggressive. And I'm just gonna also let the one hawker go. I'm just gonna go for an infantry. So this is what we're gonna do, right? We're waiting for the opponent to overcommit at one point, and then we're punishing him. So I'm just gonna go for my baby dragon. Let's see, is he gonna go wizard onto this side? You know, I'm just gonna go graveyard now because if he goes in for wizard, I can immediately go for a freeze. So I'm just gonna go freeze this. And if he decides to go in for a skelly army, I'm just gonna go for a perfect tornado here. And he still needs to take care of the inferno ring since the skeletons are tanking. This is what I'm talking about, right? We're playing defensive the whole game, even against like a really random deck. And this deck does pretty well against it. You got Anster against everything, against air, you got Isos at baby doing inferno ring, against ground, against hawkwire, you got you got barbs, tornado, bowler, against butchernicks, against evil recruits. You got the bowler, isos, baby doing tornado splash value, and just like one of the best defensive ever in Clash Royale history. Next year up here with us, JRS. You freeze. So we're just gonna give no good luck. And let's see. So I'm gonna mute him. I need to focus. So this deck is also a great deck in double licks at time, but also like in single licks time, it can be effective with the counter bush. But as I said, normally you don't really want to um, grave it in single licks then. Normally with grave decks, it's always really important to go opposite lane, right? Against like this type of golden pushes, right? When I'm like playing like a normal one, for example, with the tombstone in it and also the Isos baby deck, which you're facing earlier, I was always telling you guys. Do opposite line pressure when your opponent's gonna go lava in the back or if he's gonna go gold in the back. With this deck, you don't need to, right? When your opponent goes in for gold in the back, just set up a bowler, just set up an inferno rank and defend. And then out of your defense, you wanna counter push. This is kind of the main difference. So I'm kind of just chilling here. Is he gonna zap this? No, he's not. So I'm just gonna go barbs there. Does he have fireball? Okay, I need to go bowler now since he's gonna fireball that. So I don't want the spears connected to top. Of course, it will be like one goblin giant hit at least. Okay, just one. And now, not gonna grave yet. I still don't know if this guy is Mother Witch or not. If he has minions, then I'm just gonna go baby doing immediately, maybe. Okay. Does he have knight? He's gonna knight that. That's fine. And I'm just gonna go set up a baby doing here on defense. And also, of course, getting great amount of like counter pressure out of this baby doing. He goes a Mother Witch. So normally you could think, oh no, he has Mother Witch. You should be sad. No, Mother Witch isn't really too broken against us. We got the bowler and so on. I'm not really too unhappy about seeing her. So I'm just gonna go Ice Wizard, of course, great fireball bait. Okay, I'm just gonna go and form my tornado here, great fireball bait with the barbs, of course. And I got the evil barbs, so kinda sometimes I also wanna go like barb split. Kinda like this type of stuff just to get to the evil barbs because they are shredding everything. And just like, I don't know, I just feel like also the evil barbs sometimes are win condition. This is what lava players do a lot, um, just pressuring opposite lane with them when the bomb turret example is out. Also doing the same with barbs. So, also. Currently, just another thing in top ladder, there's a little ton of recruits. I just feel like playing. I'm just gonna go freeze there. I think that's an okay feed. I'm just gonna go tornado there. It's like evil recruits, they can be really annoying, but with this deck, you got all the answers. I'm just gonna go for my ice wizard here. Perfect ice wizard, perfect bowler. Splash. Okay, now. I'm just gonna go Psychonet and Fairy We wanna play passive. We wanna continue playing our style. I'm just gonna go for Baby Doing really good. Also, like, there's not really lightning in the matter, right? Lightning does so well against our deck. But nobody's really playing lightning at all. And Fireball doesn't really do anything. So I'm just gonna go for my tornado here. Good tornado. I was scared for one second, not gonna lie. I'm just gonna go now for my ice. Let's see, what is he gonna do now? He still needs a defense. He's just gonna go Fireball dead. And I think this might be his mistake because now we're just gonna go predict something. We predict the spark and this is over, right? He's gonna go minions soon. But minions really won't do anything. I can just go in for this. He still needs to go rage. Range won't do enough. I can just go for a freeze whenever I want to. GG's well played. Predicting the sparky, going for evil buffs graveyard. Nothing he can do. And this matter which was all the cycle, of course. Next year up here was the mentalist. And let's see what the mentalist does there. So I'm just gonna give him a good luck and let's see how's he gonna respond, what his plan really is. And I might just go in for my I'm just gonna go ice. So if he plays Lockbait, Lockbait would be one of the harder matchups, especially the Tesla version, because we don't have a small spell. Prince is really annoying, but it seems like he's most likely playing 
a bait deck and we just got the bowler there and just like bowler executioner also executioner i feel like kuni in top lane is kind of cut which got back in a meta and i personally dislike executioner i mean just feel like like the range is so annoying same for bowler like bowler tornado executioner tornado one just one of the most annoying combinations but yeah, okay i'm just gonna go buffs here i shouldn't have enough for firewall yet dude you're playing elixir golem that's actually toxic i'm just gonna go for my baby drink there Okay, don't really want to go now. I'm just gonna go ice with it now. Last possible second. And now I'm just gonna go now for my graveyard here. Because now this time we got a counter push and also got the elixir out of the elixir golden, right? So this is exactly what I'm doing. I'm just gonna go for a tornado here. Also, the baby dragon is gonna clean up everything. So we got some damage, but overall it didn't feel that great. So if he goes in now, force pump, I need to pressure him. If he goes on pump, I'm just gonna go Evo Buff. So this could be a tough one. We got great defense. The only weird disadvantage, of course, is we don't have a big spell. So he can overwhelm us. Normally, when the opponent is going for a pump, you want to pressure. But I can't. So I'm just gonna go for my barbarians. And also go for Baby I thought he's just gonna pump. But I think that's still okay. Because the Evo Buffs will actually shred that. He goes in for Fireball, which is completely fine because the Buffs are still doing a great job. So honestly, not too bad. I'm just gonna go for this i just need to go freeze though i'm just gonna go freeze now no how what happened dude how did he get like the ability out can you tell me that guys i'm not gonna go bobsy i think the tower is still dead right okay tower isn't dead yet okay situation is pretty bad not gonna lie guys I'm just gonna go grave it now. Might be the last chance, might be the last dance. Going for a tornado here, tornado doesn't, doesn't really do anything. Okay. I is it like this. Of course it connects to tower. I need to go barbs, and I think now I'm just gonna go in for a grave it here and just pray for the last couple of seconds to maybe get to find damage, but I think we lost this game earlier, guys. I think we really lost this game earlier. And I honestly think this matchup isn't too bad. If he has, like, pump, it can be tough. But I honestly, I still let it in. Because this was kind of my mistake, right? I think I played over-aggressive. I was telling you always, like, play defensive the whole entire game. And then counter push and double elixir time. But I think sometimes, of course, you can also counter push and single elixir time when you got a great push. But I think I was a bit too aggressive going in the graveyard. Uh, in the, with the graveyard when you're, like, gang ready and then just, like... Can I do a prediction for no reason was actually bad. I just should have waited for force pump and not predicting because then we committed like a ton of elixir and he went aggressive. So overall, really bad plays at the end, but still it kind of shows, right? The stack, it's not the hardest stack to play, but you kind of need to see like learn when to defend, when to go in. This is the only real um, annoying thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to this channel and make sure to check out tomorrow's video.